what sets what sets mastermind toys apart from all of the other toy stores out there where they are is is imagination based you're not going to find a lot of electronics you're not going to find things that you know put them in front of a screen. What we're geared towards is more learning, getting hands in, thinking outside the box. I think Mastermind sets an edge and uh, you know, we live up to it. Hi, I'm Erin from Jimbree Play Music, and today I'm joined with uh, Tammy from Mastermind Toys in the Country Hills location. And we had her in today to do some really cool and really fun toy testing. So when you're out shopping, we have always looking for what's the best toy for my child. So I always look at the box and I'm like, oh, well my kid's mm -hmm. five, so should I buy the five-year-old toy? Should I buy a three-year-old toy? Are they still gonna like that? I tend to ask basic questions right off the bat. Is this an only child? If it's an only child, definitely stick close to the age on the package. Um, a first child doesn't have the experience and doesn't have the knowledge, so we're slowly easing them into it. If this is a third child, um, you know what, they're not going to be doing the same things that an average first child would. They're going to be looking at their brother and sister and going, I'm going to do what Johnny and Susie are going to do. Um, so they're going to think outside the box a little bit more and they're going to wipe away that age altogether. Now of course, that age is on there for a reason usually a safety issue. So you're looking at little pieces and if that child is still putting things in their mouth, go by the guidelines. Well, at Jim Marie, we're zero to five. So in that age range, um, obviously you're gonna be looking at a lot of development happening and a lot of different new skills coming as they go along. So you're gonna wanna have like some fine motor skill yes. toys and maybe um, some books. So as you're kind of looking to maybe get a a small amount of toys for your child, what kind right. of development toys would you be looking at? So you want to make sure that something is very engaging. Um, bright colors are always the way to go. That's going to catch eyes again. The wooden toys are fantastic. Something that's going to inspire the imagination. Um, something that's going to push their finer motor skills, because I always say start finer motor skill tuning as early as you possibly can. So I would say start them off at six months, going and getting that. That's going to engage them and really work them. Um, and it's okay to push them. Absolutely, you should. What I found with Jimboree, I, like I was saying to Erin, I wish this had been around back in BC when my kids were little. We did not have something like this. Um, it is amazing how interactive and just, they can be kids, how great it is in such a learning, comfortable environment where it's not a smothering environment and they're just free to do what they want to do. It's fantastic what you guys have set up here. Thank you so much. Yeah.